So today we talk about bottom of funnel Amazon SEO optimization. Let's jump in. Hey everyone, so if you saw my previous video on the top, middle, and bottom of funnel, uh, we talked about how Amazon fits in that bottom of funnel activities. If you haven't seen that yet, make sure to check it out. I have a link right here. But if you have seen it, then I wanna kinda go through the SEO portion of that and how to optimize a listing for SEO in the bottom of funnel activities. So if you recall from that video, the top of funnel activities are awareness of problems, meaning there are problems that the, the shoppers are just becoming aware of. Middle is consideration of the options, meaning I'm sort are now aware of the problems that I'm having and here are the options that I have and I need to consider which one is best for me and then the bottom one is purchase intent so Amazon operations operate at the bottom of these funnel and then we discussed how really these bottom of funnel activities have to do with keywords they show purchase intent I'm ready to buy I'm looking for this particular thing and I use the example of the guitar players and realizing that maybe hey I want to play faster I want to shred on guitar but heavy strings slow me down so lighter strings will help me out now I'm looking for the middle of funnel activities are, hey, you know, where are, the, what are the options for that? I guess my options are anywhere between, you know, I'm currently playing 10 gauges, maybe I need to consider eight or even seven gauge strings. Okay, so who has those strings? So my purchase intent would be, purchase seven gauge strings or where do I buy seven gauge strings or cluing on to Amazon and going seven gauge strings for electric guitar or something like that. And that's showing purchase intent, meaning I'm about to make a decision on a purchase. So when we begin looking at this SEO for this, we start to look at search volume. Like the most beginner information is, hey, what is the search volume for the phrases that I'm looking at? Now, the funny thing is it is the beginner information. Search volume has some importance, but it's actually the least important of all the numbers you're going to look at when you're looking at SEO for this bottom of funnel optimization of your listing. So we, you know, oftentimes when you're looking for the, this kind of information, you're seeing search volume has a bunch of different numbers. So each keyword, you know, and I have a little example up here of search volume for a bunch of keywords. So imagine just off to the left side of this, whatever keywords are in your space, and you're going to see numbers similar to this. You know, some have a ton of search volume, meaning 21,000 in search volume. Some have only 963 in search volume or 800 in search volume. And the beginner mind immediately goes to the fact that, hey, out of all these, the 21,000 searches per month search volume is better than all of the others. But that may or may not actually be true. The fact of the matter is there's other pieces of data that are just as important or more important actually to deciding which keyword is actually valuable. So the beginner mind says 21,000, that's more searches per month. I, I think that that's the best number. But when we begin to look at some additional data, we see that Amazon thinks that there are 20,000 listings viable, relevant to that same keyword term that gets 21,000 purchase per month. Now, what that means is that you're gonna have to wade through 21,000 listings to get to page one to even start to compete for that phrase. So now this phrase that we're looking at that has 21,000 searches per month, the beginner mind thinking 21,000 searches per month is pretty good. But when you get to look at this additional data, you're like, wow, that's a lot of competition. And so we begin to maybe look at some other phrases that have a little bit less competition, maybe like 128. Now here's the deal. Now I'm a really good marketer. I've been doing this for a long period of time. I, I like to think I know a thing or two, but I would rather take on 128 competitors versus the 20,000 up here. Meaning I know that I can rank faster for this phrase that only has 128 competitors than I can for this phrase that has 20,000 competitors. We can get faster because I only have to wade through 20,000 or 128 competitors to get to that page one to start to compete. So now the phrase that has 128 might be a little bit more interesting to me. Even though it has slower search volume, only 2,100 searches per month versus the 21,000 that the other has. And just begin to think through this information. Now, it doesn't mean that's the phrase I'm going to pick because there are other considerations which I'm about to show you. But before I show you these other considerations, what you really need to know, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and like and subscribe if you like this information. If this kind of stuff uh, helps you with your business, go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, you'll be able to get more of this kind of content and you'll make my mama proud of me. So 128. Now I'm going to take you to the real stuff that's extremely exciting right here. Uh, as you click those buttons, um, I'm going to take you to the stuff that's really exciting. And this new piece of data that enters in is market volume. Now market volume is really speaking of numbers of, of, of money. 
And what we really want to know is like how much money is involved in each one of these phrases. Most people don't realize this, even top sellers don't realize this when I sit down and talk with them is that each one of those phrases that you have options for have a certain amount of money passing through them every month. And this is just a simple knowing of, you know, how much money is flowing through the, the top listings on page, you know, top 15 listings or so or whatever category you're in, the top 15 listings on page one of Amazon and realizing there's a certain amount, amount, amount of money flowing through each one of those phrases. And not all phrases are the same when it comes to that amount of money. So it's really critical that we understand this and be aware of this, that there's money flowing through that. So even again, you know, I look at this, this one of these phrases that has a uh, 523 uh, dollars flowing in through it per month. Now, originally I might've thought that was a pretty good phrase. It had 8,000 searches per month and only had 2,000 competitors. But when I see it only has $523 on it per month, I, I don't know about you, but I don't know that I'm interested in putting all the effort into uh, optimizing for that phrase when we're going to have to split $523 between all the competitors on page one to even begin to rank and compete for that. We're going to split that tiny amount of money. So really looking around at this information, we begin to see, hey, you know, that 21,000 search term phrase has $46,000 flowing through it per month. And we go, hey, that's pretty valuable. And matter of fact, it's the most valuable of all these on here. Now we begin to relook at that, but I still have to go, okay, it's going to take some time to compete for that because there's 20,000 competitors for that, right? So 46,000, and then we begin to look at the overall picture. This is where the overall picture, understanding your whole picture, and this really is the beginning of the whole picture where you're looking at this data and breaking down this data search volume. That's the beginner information. Intermediate information is competitors. You know, how many co how many competitors Amazon think are worthy of ranking for this phrase on Amazon? So we want to know that. And then ultimately realizing that there's market value, there's actual money flowing through each one of those. And you need to know that because Amazon actually knows that as well. They know how much money each one of those phrases are worth to them right? That total volume means that, that there's behind those, each of those sales are pick and pack fees and referral fees that Amazon makes money on. So they know these numbers as well too. And you need to know them as well too for each of those phrases. And this will help you to start to pick out uh, listing, uh, pick out phrases that are good for your listing. So uh, we might look at this phrase that has 128 competitors for tw only 2,100 searches per month versus the 21,000 searches per month that the beginner mind got all excited about in the beginning. Only 128 competitors, only 28 competitors worthy of buying for that. So we've got a really good shot of getting to page one fast. All right. And that's really the key. We know we can rank for this a lot quicker than we can rank for the one that has, you know, 20, where is it? 20,000 competitors. That's going to take us a long time to rank for, or a lot of money. Those are your two choices. It's either going to take you a long time to do it sort of organically or a ton of money to do it uh, with paid advertising and giveaways and all of those kind of things that you can do to start ranking. So really what we're looking at is when you look at a, a profile like this, you're going, Hey, it has 21, uh, 2,100 searches per month, which is good, you know, and really what I'm looking for on the search volume side of things is the relationship between these numbers, meaning 2,100 isn't bad out of that overall picture. Sure, it's not 21,000, but 2,100 isn't bad, but 128 competitors means we can rank for it fairly quickly and it still has $18,000 flowing through it per month. So really that's what we're looking for when you're considering all of this information, when you're looking at, hey, what do I need to rank on Amazon and what SEO do I need to really work at that bottom of funnel uh, activity that really is where they're showing purchase intent, meaning the, the shoppers are on there, they're ready to buy tonight, you know, in the next few minutes, in the next hour, or probably in the next day or so, they're going to be making a purchase. So they're showing purchase intent. What are the phrases that we need to really rank for that can help us to move forward? And so this just really isn't just about like, hey, we pick one of these phrases. Really, this is about an SEO path forward. So we can look at this phrase and we might be able to say, hey, that phrase will allow us to rank quickly. And then eventually we can start to work into ranking for this phrase, which will take us longer to rank into. And that's really how Amazon works. They sort of ungate phrases, meaning they, they allow you access to other phrases. When you do really well and start selling on, on these kind of phrases, then they're saying, hey, let's give them a shot on these other ones. They've made money for us over here. Let's give them, give them a shot on these bigger phrases. So anyways, I hopefully that was useful to you. If so, like and subscribe. Uh, until next time, I hope your sales are booming and your business is blessed. Talk to you soon. Bye.